is so fucking true because it's like you see all these rappers today they want to do all this shit like posing for the gram posing for social media and it's just like you know what makes you different from all these other cats you know what i'm saying so yeah man this very cool track i love this track um dr carter um yeah man and it and i always point this out to people who says that wayne is not lyrical and shit like that because yeah man this is just Lil Wayne at rare form in my opinion next track is phone home <sighs> this was produced by cool and dre um cool and dre pretty much um they produce for like a lot of cats like you know most known they're best known for producing for fat joe um post don cartagena um Queen Latifah, the game. They did Hate It or Love It by the game. I mean, they are hit or miss. I'm just going to say they're hit or miss. And I didn't really care for this track right here. Phone home. Like, phone home. I didn't care for that track. I didn't care. Track number eight, Tie My Hands, featuring Robin Thicke. Um, yeah, this was written as a response, you know, the whole Hurricane Katrina and how you know George Bush, how George Bush was handling it. Um, yeah, very dope track right here. I love this song. Um, and it's kind of like a little. It's not a single, but it got a lot of attention. If that makes sense. So, yeah, man, very very dope track right here. You know, Lil Wayne and Robin Thicke always make some dope music together and shit. So, yeah, man. Um, and also with this one right here, it kind of opened the doors to a lot of people who said that Lil Wayne always talks about all oh, the usual pussy money weed and stuff like that. But this is like the track where he really just talked about something that it was out of his comfort zone and something that was close to home with him. So next track, Mrs. Officer. It's one of those radio tracks, you know, the female officer, you know, <laughs> y'all should know, I'm not even going to explain the song, but it's an okay song, I just, I, me, I prefer Comfortable, that's the one I prefer, prefer, but it is what it is. Next track, Let the Beat Build. Whew. <clears throat> Yes, this was um, produced by Diesel and Kanye West. Love this track right here. And according to Diesel, when he um, tried to, uh, when he did an interview with Double XL, he basically said that Wayne came up with the idea to have like a beat go bigger and bigger and bigger, hence the title and shit like that, like that. Ha 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 Yeah, yeah. Like, oh man, that. It sound like some fucking peanut shit, like some Charlie Brown shit, man. Like, and that's how you let the beat build. Like, very dope track right here. Um, next track, Shoot Me Down. Again, another very strong track. You know, it's kind of like a braggadocio track where he's like telling his enemies not to shoot him down from his throne and shit like that. Oh man, he was just going in on this track right here. I love the line when he says, "Oh, what is that?" Was that? okay. Pause, clause, because I'm a beast. I'm a doll. I get you. My picture should be in a dictionary next to the definition of definition because repetition is the father of learning. And son, I know your barrel burning, but. Please don't sh and then it gets to the club. Please don't shoot me down. Like, man, very dope track right here. Just fucking oh man, I love that beat, that beat and shit like that. Um, D Smith produced that track. Track number twelve, Lollipop. <clears throat> um, Lollipop. What can I say about Lollipop? This was featured Static Major. This was like one of his most this is one of his most popular hits, his breakout single, and the only song that actually topped the Billboard Hot 100. Yeah, 
Yeah, this was a very big song back when I was in middle school. Like, I know hella niggas used to always um, sing this song back when I was in middle school and shit. So, yeah, man, I'm just getting kind of nostalgic at the moment because middle school was kind of like, I didn't care for my middle school like that. I mean, I, I had good memories, but I just said that I had bad memories too. I was going through some shit, let's just say that. Um, yeah, so that's fucking Lollipop. And then we're going to get into La La featuring Briscoe and Busta Rhymes. Um, this has, you know, David Banner Productions and David Banner beat. Um, David, David Banner, like, <clears throat> yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. Very cool song right here. Just them always just going in on this track right here. Like, I do admit the beat kind of gets a little... Yeah, cause you know a lot of David Banner beats it's like sometimes it can get a little it can sometimes it can be a little bland sometimes like he's a dope producer but some of his beats can be a little hit or miss but I like this one but I can, I can understand if a lot of I know a lot of fans don't like this song don't care for it mostly because that beat but I, I feel like it was pretty solid you know um next track play with play with fire featuring Betty White, um, yeah, this was the one that was banned, well, not banned, was taken off and replaced by Pussy Monster, um, pretty dope track right here, um, pretty, pretty, very, very dope track, it's like one of those cinematic kind of ordeals and shit, you know what I'm saying, um, yeah, I, I definitely was very surprised when, um, he collaborated with um, Betty White and shit because you know Betty White is like a soul legend and stuff. But you know she's from Miami and shit like that. So it is what it is. So yeah. Um, track number fifteen, "You Ain't Got Nothing" featuring Joel Santana and Fabulous. Um. I didn't really care for this one like that, you know. I didn't really care too, too much about it. But it's not a bad song, really. And the last track, Don't Get It, it's, it's the last track off this album. Um, Yeah, man, very um solid way to end off the album and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Very solid way to end off the album. Um, Yeah. And, you know, he was just talking about, like, going talking about his career and there's other topics as well too so yeah all right so that's all of the time i have for this album overall i do definitely feel like this is a very 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 strong album for lil wayne possibly my favorite album um and it's crazy because you know he was definitely stepping his game up he definitely lifts to all the hype I remember when this album came out, everybody was bumping this shit. Well, I was saying that everybody was bumping this. Um, yeah, man. What can I say? It's a very influential album. I would dare say it's a classic. After this album, he kind of, uh, kind of went down because he did that rock album and Rebirth, that trash rock album. But I did like the Carter Five. And shit like that. I did thought Carter Five was pretty solid, but yeah, man. And like I said, this version with um playing with fire is out of print. And if y'all can find it, you must have in your collection. So yeah, this is Lil Wayne with the Carter Three. Very good album. Very, 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 very good album and shit. Um And I'm also, you know, um thinking about doing some dip a new idea, trying to have like play certain albums I've never heard before to like do like a live reaction to it so stay tuned on that other than that make sure y'all have a very good night and whatever peace